So we need to start by engaging our core. We're pulling in our belly button and our abdomen. Make sure you don't push out your rib cage or your stomach. It's nice and flat. Your back should be neutral, flat, careful not to hyperextend, which is something I myself struggle with pretty often. And this is gonna be our starting position for our warm up today. So we're gonna start with some glute bridges. Starting position is both feet on the ground, hips parallel with the ground. The foot that remains on the ground are gonna have the toes flexed upwards and your arms are about at a 45 and they are used to stabilize yourself. You should work up to a minute on each leg. Intermediate is gonna be your arms across your chest so they cannot assist you and you will be utilizing more of your posterior chain. This is obviously much harder, but you'll be able to work up to that as your strength grows. Adding these to my daily regimen has helped me minimize soreness and recurring injury. Next will be hip hinging with slightly bent knees. I'm gonna be using a 30 pound kettlebell for my Romanian deadlifts. Just like the glute bridges, you wanna make sure your hips remain parallel to the ground. You don't have to touch the floor with your kettlebell. As soon as you feel that pull in your hamstring, stop. You'll start off with eight reps with the same side grip. Then you'll do eight reps with a cross grip and you will repeat on the other leg. So each set is 36 reps. You'll probably notice an imbalance as I have. My right leg is the more unstable of the two due to a graft I had taken from that hamstring. You can see it's taking me longer. I'm having to go slower. And you can see how my hip is overcompensating by rotating out and not staying parallel with the ground. It's taking a lot for me to keep that rotation from happening. Russian twists are a great way to strengthen your lower back. I'm just demonstrating with a really light medicine ball, nice and slowly, with both feet on the ground, keeping my elbows in and tapping the ground on each rep. And the next progression would be keeping my feet up with my core engaged and continuing the same rotation. Now for stretching, we'll bring one leg up at a 90, put the other leg on top, reach through and grab the leg and pull. Don't allow your hips to rock left or right. Back stays flat and your hips remain square. Then just repeat the same on the other leg. Well, that's it for my QL warm up strength and recovery routine. If you end up trying it out, let me know what you think in the comments, good or bad. See you next time.